All right, my next prediction deals with weighted means. I think you guys are gonna have a word problem on your test that talks about um, the, the mean of a certain set being this, the mean of another set being that, and then you've gotta figure out a new mean or something. So let me give you an example with this problem. What is the mean calorie content and calories of the 140 items classified as high calorie food items? They said there was 60 low calorie and they had a mean calorie content of 150. Add in 140 food items. We don't know how much calories that is. Um, the mean calorie content for all of them was 250. We have to divide by the total amount there are. Okay, I get 50,000, 9,000 plus 140x equals 50,000. I have 140x equals 41,000. X equals 292.86. On the SAT, they will either give you multiple choice options, they will ask you to round, make sure you round to the appropriate spot. Uh, I would have to fill this in as 292.9, so they would probably ask me to round to the nearest tenth because that's five spots and that's all we can fill in. But take a step back and ask yourself, does that make sense? If a low calorie item is 150 calories, would it make sense for a high calorie item to be almost 300? Sure, that's believable. If I got an answer that said like 4,000, then I would probably question that and go back to the drawing board.